Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a good day. I'm back with a Netter Bloodborne Chalice Dungeon Miniature, and this is the Watchdog of the Old Lords. He's primed in Army Painter's Fur Brown, and we're going to be starting off with a D&D's unique color, and that is going to be Rate Black. So we're going to be using this color on the underpart of the Watchdog, and uh, you have to shake it up a couple times, give it a second coat uh, afterwards, because the brown was still coming up underneath. Uh, but you'll see that it does a great job covering and it's a great color to use. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps support the channel. Our next goal is 500 subscribers, so we're hoping to get there. Hit also that like button and that notification bell. Right, next color we're going to be using is Necromancer Cloak, and this is going to be going on like the harder parts of like maybe armor or like shell or just like the thicker skin of the watchdog. So we're going to be putting this on legs, face, and the head as well as the tail. So since this thing seems to be either breathing fire or something like that, he seems to have like this uh, glowy flaming thing going on the side of his face, his head I should say, in his mouth and behind his front legs. So we're going to be starting off with mythical orange as a base color to get this fiery look going. We're gonna come back to that necromancer cloak because I forgot to do his nails. So for the next part of the um, fire breathing aspect of this guy, we're gonna be using some lava orange. And this is going to go slightly over that mythical orange just to give it a little bit brighter color, as well as inside of the mouth. And using the Army Painter's Masterclass Dry Brushes, and I believe this is the large one, we're going to be going over all the uh, Necromancer Cloak on the monster. We're going to be using Filthy Cape for this, so that it's going to get just the raised edges and give it a nice highlight before we put a wash on. And mixing in some Wolf Grey with that Wraith Black, and it's going to be more Wolf Grey than gray, uh, that Wraith Black, we're going to dry brush using another Masterclass brush, and this is going to be over that Wraith Black that was underneath, and that's going to also highlight the ridges. And next we're going to move on to an instant colors from scale 75 and this is demon brown and this is going to act like a wash as well as a highlight at the same time so we're going to be using this on all the parts that are fur brown left from the primer and it's going to get into the recesses and highlight that at the same time Now we're going to finish off the flame area and the eyes as well. We're going to put a little bit of demonic yellow and we're pretty much just going to like slowly brush the edges of this just to give it a little bit more of a highlight. Now we're going to be using this mid brown wash and we're going to use this on everything except for where we used the, that other wash a while ago which was the scale 75 instant color. So we're going to go over the grays, the cut, the, 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 fly, the flames, the tail, uh, the underbelly because he has, he still has like a brownish look to him uh, in the artwork and I want to just have a little bit of brown on top of these grays. Now 
I love these Vallejo ground textures and or I should say texture paint or whatever and this is ground texture so it's gonna give it a nice rough uh, finish to it. I'm gonna come back and contrast paint that off uh, off camera. I'm gonna be using I believe it was Gorgrunta fur and I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, grass to that as well uh, some um, battlefield tufts just to finish off the base but we have one more color to do before we get to that and that would be monster brown to go on top of all the brown spots or uh, the fur brown that we put that instant color on just to give it a highlight we're going to be using again that master class dry brush from the army painter and you just slightly go over these and just to get the raised edges all right so the watchdog of the old lords is painted and ready to hit the table I hope you enjoyed the video, hit that like, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and hit that notification bell, and we'll catch you all in the next video.